What? Hi, sir. Uh, you have a package. I just need you to sign on the dotted line. Uh, just out of curiosity, what's in the package? You'll find out eventually. Well, go away. Excellent. <laughs> no, only I can laugh. Go to your cage now. <laughs> what the? Let's take a look at this. Hello, operator. Get the director of NASA. Hello, director. Take a look at the lunar monitor 37B. Yeah, the moon's orbit is decaying. I said it is decaying. Look at it. Something must be done, or the moon will be cr or the moon will crash into the crash into the Earth. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you in the conference room. Over and out. As you all know, we have a situation on our hands. The moon's orbit is rapidly decaying. Based on the current rate of acceleration, in 72 hours, the moon will collide in with the Earth. And humanity as we know it will be almost completely obliterated. <gasps> Why is the moon going to squish us? <laughs> We're not exactly sure, but we know that some force must have acted on the moon in order to change its course. Director. Our camera on the moon picked up this image about the same time when the moon's orbit started to came. The ray that you can see, well, we think it's a tractor beam. We think that's what's pulling the moon in. It seems to be emanating from somewhere in Siberia. That means that someone on Earth is pulling the moon in. The person behind this must be stopped! That's why you're here, Mr. President. We want to send a team of two STF agents to destroy the beam. Hey, if you want to destroy the beam, how are you going to stop the moon? I mean, stopping the beam won't stop the moon. Now that's in motion. If you be bring the, an engineer with you, you can reverse the beam. Do you know an engineer? Then it decided. Me? Two SDF agents and this NASA engineer who's going to fix the problem are going to take out these evil people. Stop and load, you guys. Throwing your name. you want to watch the next scene, but first, I, Isaac Newton, am going to give you a physics lesson. When you saw the ninja hit the two special task force agents, they kept moving until they were acted upon by another force, namely the pressure that they, f that they feel from the wall that they fell against. This, in this is an example of my first law of motion. A body in motion will remain in motion until acted upon by another force. And now back to the show. Time for you to surrender! Time for you to surrender! I'll hold him back. Now, another lesson. And yes, it's me, Isaac Newton, again. When Arnold runs at the henchman, and the henchman runs at Arnold, they collide. And Arnold staggers backwards a little bit, while the henchman falls over into his partner, resulting in an example of Law 1. The reason that Arnold staggers backwards is because of Law 3. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. And yes, this was the last physics lesson from Isaac Newton. For now... Put these crystals in the tractor beam, now! Yes, master. The modifications of the tractor beam are nearly complete, and I've saved the changes on the diagrams. Soon we will be able to resume the tractor beam's pull by using Sir Isaac Newton's second law of motion to increase the acceleration. Yes, master. Brain! <laughs> ah! Spy, kill him! <laughs> Alright, gotta get we gotta make a few phone calls. Alright. Ed, can you hear me? Yeah. Alright, I'm putting you on speaker. Hold on for a second. You're on speaker, can you hear me still? Yeah. Alright. 
So I'm looking at these guys. I'm looking at Yuslov's fi files, and it says that, and most of the stuff is on is on Isaac Newton, such as the lost motion theory of universal gravitation, even when he was born, which is I can't believe it. Christmas Day. Stay focused, Fred. Wait, did you say the laws of motion and the universal theory of gravitation? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Wait. In order for the tractor beam to work, he has to be accounted for a slight pull towards the moon, so the Earth's orbit doesn't change. Like law three, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. The only did, way to do that would be to fire thrusters in the opposite direction of a tractor beam's pull. And if you throw law two into the mix, then the acceleration factor reversed would be the same amount of force that caused the acceleration of the moon in the first place. But the amount of force that would be needed? How did he get so much power? Weight seems to be the, some kind of focusing crystal that forces the energy into a coherent beam. If I turn the crystal over... It will reverse the beam and push the room back into its original position. What about getting the moon to go around the Earth again? Well, it should, it should just fall, start falling towards the Earth, but we wind up in free fall again. If it doesn't, though, we launch some booster rockets into the side of it. We'll fire those if need be. What about the reaction to the beam's reversal? What's going to happen to this lab? Oh, shoot, it's going to wind up pushing the lab. No, it's going to want to pushing the lab into the earth and pushing the earth. Wait, any explosives around it? Yeah, around the lab? I have a remote. De there's a remote detonation command on this computer. I have the password. Explode and them all. All right. Okay, that should have weakened the surrounding infrastructure of the lab enough so that the lab itself will sink if the beams pushes the re reaction forces too much to be absorbed. That way, there won't be any orbital change. Thanks, Ted. I'll see you guys. I'll see you well, back at the lab. Fred, you got a problem. The beam must have been modified. All I know is the moon's accelerating even faster. You got seconds, not not hours or even minutes. Get get to it. Talk. Ten seconds to moon impact. Nine, eight. Come on, let's go. Reversal. Uh, Mr. President, get out of here. Yeah, I just saved the tractor beam. It's working. It was working. Why are we still sinking? We have to get out of here now. For if he wasn't here today, or if he did not pick up his phone like he usually doesn't, I would not be here. Neither would the president. To Ted. To Ted. To Ted. Oh, great. Hold on, guys. I gotta take this call. Hello? What? What? Woo! Oh, no. Hey, guys, you remember how you're reversing the beam and all that? Oh, yeah. I do have his computer still. Okay, that's good, because we messed up. The reaction force was too much, and the Earth is being pushed to the side. One. Get to the chopper! Sir Isaac knew he was a kid just like you and me. Dun 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 dun. Except he discovered gravity. Dun 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 dun